It's the NFL on EA Sports as we are in the inner harbor of Baltimore at M&T Bank Stadium. Here's a scene a short time ago. The Ravens introduced to this sellout crowd and through a sea of pyrotechnics, out they came from the tunnel. We're set to go as the Ravens get ready to match up with the Cleveland Browns. Joseph now to kick this one away. This will be a touchback as it sails over the end line. Games 
That one for Fiji. Yeah. 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 To the header first. Yeah. Yeah. We're seeing more and more of these plays come from the college game into the NFL. Yeah. 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 Great success. How about the evolution of the offensive linemen? We're seeing less and less big guys who can't move and more and more guys who are a lot more mobile and can get out in front of that type of a play. Now, Pittsburgh, check 53. You're not ready. You're not ready. Check, check. They'll run here with Ingram. And that'll get him halfway there as he takes it from the six to the three-yard line. And that's one of those you like to blitz even on run downs. It confuses the blocking assignments and doesn't allow those offensive linemen to get up to the second level. We're scoreless after one. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. in the seven zip lead. Well, you know how much I enjoy horse racing, right? Looks like they call a flyer out of the gate. He's taken down. This will be a brown sack. Right at the side. He's disrupted by Olivier Vernon. Two minutes on the clock. Second quarter. Seven nothing ball game. Go ahead and take a seat. You can't stop me. to Jonathan hey, Coachman. He's a EA Sports halftime report. Under pressure again, and down he goes again. The D tackle, Sheldon Richardson, came barreling in from the side. This is what happens when you get behind the chains, as people like to say, when you have 
obvious passing situations, hard to vary it up and fool a defense. And you hate those situations if you're an O-lineman, right? Oh, without a doubt, because you just know they're coming, and you never know exactly how. They can be exotic in their blitzes, or their athletic ability just takes over. Now after that sack, it's third and long for Jackson and the Ravens. Now Jackson. He gets it to Brown. Good play. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Broken down at the 49. A good pick up there. 26 yards. They certainly did, and obviously they like this measure. Otherwise, they wouldn't have put the ball to the team. Yeah. Clean, work, speed, all of that. That's yeah. about what they really said. Competitiveness. That's what they really liked about him. The way he goes after the football, competes for it, and decides when it's in the air, it's his and only his. From the 45 and second down, Jackson. He's going to get out of hands, but he takes this one down just short of the 23 yards to pick up there. First down. First down to him at the 22 yard line. Mayfield 
Explosive touches for him to make an impact on this game and on the stat sheet as well. This offense in desperate need of a conversion is in third down. I can't believe that. Hey, let's go. Run, run, run. Ready? Hey, what's up? What's up? Working out again, Mayfield. And he as he releases it. and they did force the incomplete pass. Second and 12. defensive guy. Now, as a quarterback, third and long, you really got to rally the troops here, don't you? Yeah, you do in a big way. And what else do you have to look out for? More pressure coming at you because it seems to be working pretty well. Now, after that sack, it's third and long for Jackson and the Ravens. He's crazy. There's Jackson on the final Jackson on the in control of the football and also got the lead as we get set for the fourth. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Jackson fakes the give and keeps it. Open left side is Brown. The completion good for three weeks in the day. And just a small glimpse there as to why they like this rookie so much. And that's why they lit up a little bit in our meetings with the coaches. Yeah, we talked about him. They did. Yeah, you know, they like his work ethic. You know, this guy's running every route well in the route tree and getting better at it all the time, really honing his game. They expect a pretty good jump out of him as things continue to move on. From the 
Chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. to have already been decided. And he'll keep working toward that end zone as he's down to about the two-yard line. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they start it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ball game. From the two down, second and goal. We ain't giving them nothing to Kill, kill, kill. Two to go, we get another pause in the action. It's time out here defensively. This path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. How about this Browns defense? They've held so far. This is now third and goal. Quick talking about Jackson fakes a give and keeps it. And that's going to be knocked Jackson. away in the end zone. It's incomplete. Demarius Randall that time there to knock it free. And so they look like they were getting ready to convert their on third down. But what an effort to get his hand on that one. Knock it away. It brings up a fourth down decision. So you uh, figure uh, this game's pretty much out of reach at this point. You have to take a heck of a comeback to come from three scores down. But don't change that channel. Don't go away. Miracles can happen, and you want to be here in case it does. Good company, man. I'm talking. Yeah, a pretty good return here. here. He's, He's got you shot at the 25 at the 24 yard line. At their own 24 yard line. but they do not want to give up big plays like that. They want to finish hey, strong. So oftentimes in this situation, you hey, tighten up hey, underneath in your hey, coverage, hey, and you bring your safeties back. They can pick up anything that leaks through. In the meantime, he goes down. The Ravens are going to turn. Tim Williams, this will not be denied. That's a loss of seven. We've been around this league for a while, and many coaches never pull their starting quarterback, almost no matter the situation. In this case, that's why he's going to make a decision. He's taking a good risk an injury. They get 16 out of him, but they're still in the And the most of the time, when the ball is out there, every game, every single time, they're going to be a good call. They're going to be a good call. Take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. And you ain't doing nothing today. They'll fake the give to Ingram. Now Jackson. And he just gets rid of it. Throws it away. A wise move there. Back down to the open. 
And now second down. They're still throwing the football here, and obviously the incompletion stops the clock. That's a bad thing. Feels to me like they're just keeping them honest on defense because you know they're going to stop the scrimmage and try to stop any type of running play. Short little passes may work in exchange of running plays. Keep them moving. Keep them moving. Keep them moving. Yeah, I guess you're right. If they can get some first downs, just as good as running the football. The Ravens on third down. They've been good. Three for four thus far. They're up against a third and one situation. He may try to run for this. He'll be brought down with the first down and a late flag here, too. He may get a few more tacked on for good measure. Maybe a critical mistake at this juncture is now they've got a first and ten. After the penalty, it's Ingram. Just a yard and a pick up there to bring up a second and nine. Charles, why didn't they just take the knee there? You're asking a question that I'm asking as well because we've seen a lot of football where coaches decide maybe they get a little greedy. I don't know if they're doing it for stats or for what reason. We've seen it happen in college. And how about in the NFL? The miracle of the Meadowlands. All they had to do was take the knee. The game was over. The Giants win. One more time. The ball popped free. Phil Duffy picks it up and wins the game. What year was that? 1978. I think it was in November. So the final seconds tick away in this Baltimore victory. And they did it in shutout fashion. Impressive. Would it be too bland of a statement to say they didn't have the greatest day offensively? I mean, uh, did know. enough though, did enough, but yeah, you're right. Most games, it wouldn't have been enough. So they've got to go into the locker room and applaud their.